I bet I drill a clean hole in somebody today. Today we're going to be talking about the character Anna. There's a user on Twitter who had this long thread talking about all the reasons she will be in Tekken 8. And me personally, I just want to follow this person's footsteps and just see what reasoning do they believe Anna will be in Tekken 8. Now, I believe Anna will be in Tekken 8, but let's see what, you know, I do a lot of speculating and theorizing on this channel, but let's follow another person's theories and speculations and ideas. I'm all for it. Um, when I was uh, doing research for this, though, I did realize this person had me blocked and I had them blocked. And I was like, wait, what? We're blocking each other. But then after a little bit more research, I remembered that this is the person who uh, was kind of making fun of one of my videos. I got salty about it because, you know, you know, back like a year ago, two years ago or whatever, like a year and a half ago, I was talking about leaks, Reina and stuff like that. And a lot of people didn't like that. One of the videos you can see in this picture here, I was saying Jin Kazama will be killed by Reina Mishima in Tekken 8. Now, this was a huge stretch. It was a huge uh, reach. And it was just me looking at everything so far that we had for the game and also some stuff about Reina that we weren't supposed to have like leaks. Now, even though in the story itself that didn't actually play out, I mean, with Heiachi's resurrection and with Reina turning to the dark side and her true plants coming to fruition, with her seeming to be the only person who has the devil gene, my theory and my prediction may be right. And that's all that I was saying is like Jin Kazama and Kazuya are doing their thing, but when you enter in the new Mishima, that Mishima is going to hit hard eventually. So we'll see whether or not my theory and my prediction is right. But uh, that's kind of how me and this person started to block each other because they were talking trash about my video and i was like hey don't you do that and then that was it right twitter shenanigans as usual but focusing on reina aspect oh by the way if that person's watching bro it's all good you know it's all love you know uh, i get it we get heated at times heated but uh look so talking about their tekken 8 anna predictions it says why anna williams will make a comeback in tekken 8 roster a thread so when we click on the next image you can see anna has already been teased in tekken 8 along Alongside Bob, Bob Burger ad. Anna is a Broadway actress in Tekken 8. Her teaser is promoted in New York stage on a huge billboard. And this person has a screenshot as well to show you exact uh, an example. In the New York stage, it says uh, Jansen's winners plus William Till, uh, written by George Mal, whatever, right? But you can see it says William, and a lot of people believe that's Anna William. And then also you have this red high heel. It's her colors and everything. But the only reason why I disagree with this, and the only reason I I disagree with this is because if you think about who Anna is as a character she is a, an assassin she is a killer she is a monster in Tekken 7 because Anna wanted to retire and get away from the whole Mishima Zaibatsu thing her sister Nina took on a contract and she killed Anna's husband and then Nina took Anna's bride dress and she's wearing that bad boy in Tekken 7 and Tekken 8 and the only reason why I don't believe that this is Anna is because I believe Anna would want revenge against Nina and she wouldn't be out here playing in movies and doing billboards and acting. From a story perspective, I don't think Anna would be doing that, but I will admit when you just generally take the story out of it, which Tekken does a lot, Tekken doesn't care about story, I'm the only one over here talking about consistency, when you take the story out of it, this definitely looks like Anna from the heels to the red and also the name William. But is this a actual teaser or is this not? And also you could talk about Bob Berger ads being placed all over the place. When we first seen the station, we saw the Leroy Smith statue. We was like, okay, Leroy confirmed and Bob confirmed, but we're still waiting around. No, Bob. I think Bob will come eventually, but will he come before, let's say, an Armor King, a Mardok, a Miguel, a Julia, a Kunimitsu? I don't know, but... Those are the two characters we got a little hint of. Next picture. This one, it says Harada already spoken about Nina with uh, Lynn Hart. This is the voice announcer for the trailers. And also, if you played the story, there's a specific moment in the story where she does the actual announcing in uh, the game itself. Uh, but it says Lynn Hart also used to voice Anna Williams. And that's true. Uh, confused as to why she isn't in a roster. More requests equals more chance. So here's the thing. So in this Harada's bar, I can't remember when it happened, but I do remember when it happened. Lynn Hart, who was the voice of Anna, I believe in like Tekken 5, was talking to Harada and saying, why wasn't she? What, where is she? Why is she in the game? And um, you just have this connection of the voice actor being here, character request being here. All that is missing is the character being here, right? So I think this is another good example as well. And I think it would be cool to see the, uh, Lynn Hart reprise her role as voice actor for Tekken. Uh, the next one, this one says Rada done a Nina versus Anna Pole twice during the release of Tekken 8. 
Anna won both of them. I could be wrong, this is just my own prediction, but whenever someone does a poll, whichever character is not in a game usually wins that poll because players are wanting that thing they don't have. So a lot of people like Nina. When you look at her usage data, she's always above Anna, but I think the request and wanting Anna is, is uh, higher because she's not in the game, right? But also the thing you, you got to talk about, and this is just Tekken 7 as a whole, I always ask you guys, how many characters will they put in Tekken 8 that was specifically sold as DLC in Tekken 8? And uh, is that what you guys want? You know, Armor King, uh, Marduk, Anna, Julia, all of those characters were season two. If they sell all of those characters in Tekken 8 again, which they may, um, will players be happy? A lot of people say yes, but me, like, I kind of want something new, but at the same time, you know, if the players want the thing they want, then give it to them. But I just wonder when they sell Anna, where will her usage fall? She's a character that's highly requested, but then her usage is on the lower side. So I just don't like to see that happen. When people request a character, I like to see the character played. But um, as you can see here on the poll results, Anna wins. 53%, 47%. Now, even though she does win here, it's not by that much. And that's what I mean. It's like when a character is not in the game, they are requested more. If Anna and Nina were both base roster, I guarantee Nina would probably win this poll. But that's just my uh, theory. Let's continue. This person says, Harada also done a very long bio about Anna recently. Now, I remember this because I dedicated a full video to this uh, tweet. It was very, very long, but there was a lot of good information in there. This video, for those of you who want to watch it, is in my Tekken 8 Lore Explained playlist. Go to the playlist section, and this one is pretty much at the top. In this, Harada gave a lot of great information about uh, Anna and Nina, and uh, the, I don't think he's doing this stuff without reason. He dedicated his full lunch to talking about the character, and I think that's going to mean something eventually. Another thing this person has, it says she made it on the IG article, shows how popular she is. It says despite the Tekken fandom's long harbored uh, perception that its developers hate Anna Williams with a fiery passion, creator, not creator, director, Harada revealed that the team actually likes her quite a bit. People say Anna's not in the game because the developers hate her, and that's not true. Harada says we love this character a lot. Harada said specifically that he did a lot of the uh, moveless work for Anna. So how can he hate a character that he crafted himself with hours of blood, sweat, and tears, you know? So uh, I, I do think with how much Harada says about the character and how much, uh, you know, he talks about the character, that the character will show up eventually um and i think you know certain characters it's a matter of if they'll show up but then there's other characters who like armor king julia anna where it's a matter of when will they show up will it be in a season two or will it be in a season three because so far what season one showed us only four characters right think right now in your head what four characters can fill that space is it an anna M miguel bob armor king or is it an armor king anna bob julia or is it an Anna, Armor King, and then a guest character and another guest character? It could get very dicey, and depending on how they cut it, one of these characters is going to be kicked off to Season 3. And if you're really not lucky, Season 4. So shout out to this person for putting this together. I appreciate that. And also, all the bad blood we have in the past, let's leave it in the past. How's it going, bro? Thanks for watching.